Hi, I'm Stephanie with VIP Pet Care Pet Tips. VIP Pet Care offers a wide range of preventive veterinary services at community veterinary clinics and wellness centers throughout the United States. Today we will be speaking with Dr. Oates, a VIP Pet Care veterinarian, about how to keep your pets safe during the holidays. Welcome Dr. Oates and thank you for joining me. Thank you, I'm delighted to be here. Most months there are holidays where we remind our clients to take precautionary measures to keep their pets safe. Common risks include food, noise, and environmental concerns. Let's start with food. What are the biggest concerns with holiday foods? There are a variety of dangerous holiday foods that we should all be aware of. At the top of this list is chocolate. Probably most people are aware of this by now. It's a bigger problem with our dogs who are more inclined to eat sweet things than our cats, but keep an eye on your cats as well. Ideally, just keep all these items out of reach of our pets. But if your pet does happen to consume it, one of the things you wanna keep in mind is how much they've eaten as well as which kind of chocolate. So if you're able to keep the packaging or the wrapper that came in, take that with you if you do end up having to go to the veterinarian. Other food items that we want to make sure to avoid uh, our pets having access to would be macadamia nuts, uh, grapes, raisins, and onions. And onions are sneaky because they can not look like an onion but still be there in the form of onion powder. So baby foods are one of the things we need to keep track of. So keep those things in mind and keep those away from your pets as well. And last but not least are cocktails. So this is a fun time of year where uh, we're all enjoying our holiday festivities and our pets generally won't uh, appreciate the taste of alcohol but once we start sweetening them up or adding them to things like rum cakes they can become very appealing. So keep Keep all these items up and away from your pets and if you do happen to see a pet that's acting unusual, vomiting, diarrhea, painful abdomen, any of those things, those can be signs that your pet may have ingested something dangerous. What can we do to prevent our pets from getting scared or running off in noisy environments? So you're right, this time of year can have a lot of noisy, scary things that are happening that can be very stressful to our pets. So I recommend kind of a three-pronged approach. First of all, come up with a noise abatement plan, some quiet, safe place where you can put your pet or leave a door open that your pet can escape to and stay under the bed. Um, some pets are going to need you to actually go ahead and close the door and keep them in there safely. If you're going to do that, make sure your pet is adjusted to that room previously, that that evening of the big party or the fireworks or whatever isn't the first time that you're locking your pet up. This is also not a good time to begin crate training. If you're going to crate train to keep your pet safe, you need to practice that weeks in advance so that it's a positive experience for your pet. So that's the noise abatement part of it. The next one is considering the have an anti-anxiety plan for your pet. Know whether your pet is an anxious pet or not. Some pets will have mild anxiety with strangers or loud sounds and in that case maybe just a Kong toy filled with uh, pet appropriate food in that quiet safe room can be enough but some some pets are going to have moderate to severe anxiety and in those cases I recommend meeting with your veterinarian and talking to them about what are some options that might be best for you and that can range from anything such as pheromone sprays which are very simple to administer to some oral medications that might really take the edge off for your pet and then last but not least a really important thing to remember is that because of the scary sounds and doors possibly being left open that your pet can escape and in that case you want to make sure that your pet is microchipped and that it is wearing a collar with proper identification. Make sure both the microchip and the identification on your collar are linked to current information and hopefully all of these things will help you and your pet have a safe holiday. Are there concerns around holiday decorations that we should be aware of? There are actually several things that we should be concerned of, and at the top of that list is electrical cords. So there are a lot of bright and shiny things that we're powering this time of year, lights on our tree, train around the bottom of our Christmas tree, and other new gadgets that come out. And the danger is that our pets can have access to these cords. Puppies and kittens are especially prone to potentially biting into them, causing burns, or even worse yet, electrocution. So very serious. Keep those up and out of reach if you can, or if they need to be located on the floor where pets can have access, cover them either with tape or with thick heavy padding so your pet doesn't have access. Next on the list are batteries. All batteries are dangerous, so whether it's the round flat disc silver ones or the A's and B's that we think of, those are all dangerous and your pet can bite into them and they can cause uh, local burns in their mouth or as they swallow it and it goes through the GI tract it can cause issues all the way down. Uh, next on the list are what I like to think of are all the bright shiny strings. So it can be tinsel, garland, uh, it can be thread from some craft we're working on, 
twine, for wrapping packages, all of these are potential dangers for our pet and they cause what we call a linear foreign body. And so they can get caught under the tongue, base of the tongue in the mouth, and then they're not able to pass through the GI tract and they end up literally causing some really significant damage along the way and requiring surgery. So keep those things up and out of the way as well. And then the last thing I'm gonna talk about today is plants. We all love having plants around the house. Poinsettias are definitely on the list, but of even more concern than poinsettia, more toxic are in fact mistletoe uh, and holly and also lilies. So just keep in mind, those are all poisonous things and we need to keep those up and out of the way. And the last thing I wanna mention is that now's a good time for all of us to pre-program three very important phone numbers into our phones. Your veterinarian, maybe it's already in your phone, that's great. Your local emergency hospital, and last but not least, your pet poison hotline. Those would all be great things to have in your phone so you're ready and prepared should anything happen. Thank you, Dr. Oates, for helping us protect our pets. And from all of us at VIP Pet Care, we wish you a healthy, happy, and safe holiday. Thanks for joining us today on VIP Pet Care's Pet Tips. For more information on keeping your pets healthy, visit us on VIPPetCare.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on Facebook.